can't survive that kind of heat. I'll turn it down. I'll get him out. Gotta try and save him. Cold water. Please be okay. He's not moving. Oh, we're sorry, Jimmy. It was an accident. Yeah, there was nothing we could do. That's a super hot oven. I know, but... He's alive! What? He survived intense heat? That's, like, impossible. I've heard of creatures in extreme conditions, but this is another level. Tardigrade Extreme. Mm. Yeehaw! Huh. Maybe life in far-off space isn't so unimaginable. Well, if tardigrades can survive something like a scorching oven, what else can they survive? Let's go to some of the most extreme places on Earth and find out. Come on! We made it to outer space. And the fun part, <laughs> zero gravity! <laughs> Woo! Woo space is fun! Oh, as long as you're in a spaceship or spacesuit, without those, humans can't survive in space. Huh, and I'd never be able to pull off these moves. Yeah! Look, there's home, planet Earth. Wow, it sure is beautiful. And from here, you can see some of the things that make life possible down there on Earth. Like water. Life couldn't survive without it. Zooming in. Plants and animals are made mostly of water. Without water, we couldn't exist. Gotta hydrate. <laughs> Love drinking in space. And of course, air. That hazy cushion around the planet is called the atmosphere. It has oxygen and carbon dioxide that plants and animals need to survive. Out there in space, there is no air. Yeah, and of course, the sun. There it is, providing just the right amount of warmth. If the sun were closer, it could be too hot on Earth. Farther away, too cold. And it gives energy, too. Plants turn energy from the sun into food for themselves. Then plants are food for animals, and they're food for other animals. All